Hey Virtual Pilots, welcome back to the Simpit Academy channel. We continue the build for the front console. Today we will look at this armament control panel where we have a master arm and a jettison button. So for this build we have three parts. The the knob and then the panel and with a special bracket that will handle the rotation of the rotary switch and then the push button combination so beginning with the knob we just um, have a circle and pad it and then write some text and also a line as um, like a, like an arrow indicator. Okay, so we basically just paint this red, paint this the text and the line white and stick it on top of a knob. So whatever knob you choose, obviously they have to fit in terms of the size. Okay, so mine is a normal uh, radio knob at the bottom if you use a nerd type of rotary switch you can easily just fit it in next we look at the panel itself so this one is very simple two holes at the back you want the locking holes and the recess Okay, now the recess and then the recess for the bottom here as well. You flip it over, you add some text. Okay, so this is the recess for the toggle switch. This is the recess for the rotary switch. And then you're done for the panel. The third part is the special bracket, which actually consists of an inner and outer bracket. It's two layers, okay? The first layer, a square or circle. At the bottom, you have a recess. So for the rotary switch, Okay, and then you just have two rectangles, pat it down to become like the legs here, and then add another one and pat it down this way. When you put on, on a surface, it will pat up like this, but you reverse pat, it will go down this way. Then we select the surface here and have an index hole to hold the rotary switch in place and this one the hole put it in the center for this build actually it's not required but we'll use the same bracket for other purposes so we just build it once now okay and then we are done with the inner bracket Next, we look at the outer bracket. To give you an idea, it's roughly going to be like this. Draw this shape and pad it to have some thickness. And then draw another two rectangles, pad it down. Okay, quite a bit. It's 52 mm down to have legs. And then at the bottom, here you have another base and have a hole then on the back side have these two lines and pad them that will keep hold the inner bracket that we'll be putting here in place so it doesn't fall out okay and then the four holes that we pocket here 
will help us put screws up against the panel. This is how it's going to be. The rotary switch, put it in here. This thing here will lock in place here. Then this is the inner bracket. Here is the outer bracket. The push button, we just put it on top uh, at the bottom. Okay, it doesn't really go through neither the shaft or the cover. Neither of them go through, it's just at the bottom. The hole will be used, um, the same bracket will be used next time and when the hole is required. All right, so this is how you have it, the knob over the shaft of the rotary switch and then the push button. Oh, sorry. This one actually goes through, but it doesn't go through the top hole. Okay, there are two holes. So this one will sit here and will just push against the base of the inner bracket. All right. I got the idea from this guy who built some um, Airbus 320, uh, Santi Louis. He has quite a few good ideas. So this one, he is having a small encoder, rotating and then pushing against the uh, this push button here. My push button is not sitting on top, it's sitting below. And then instead of an encoder, I have a rotary switch. And obviously my build is so much bigger because the rotary switch is much bigger than the encoder. Okay, but the concept is the same. Something to rotate in the inner bracket and something on the outer bracket to have a push button or some other switch. So my original idea was to use this one that has been floating around in Google, the F18 Jettison Selector Control. So push button here and you rotate and it uses gears, two gears here to control this. So it's already done. So I tried to use it. But uh, fitting the gears, either they get jammed or they slip. Actually, most of the time they slip. So the whole thing was a big print, but still it didn't work consistently. So I abandoned this and built this instead. So this hole has to be big enough such that it doesn't impede the movement of the rotary shaft here and then you put the knob over and this one will push again this push button and this one will be the toggle so it's it works surprisingly well so the DCS BIOS code a bunch of them for the switch the push button and the toggle so actually besides building the bracket the whole thing is actually quite simple all right now we will see a, the free cat um, build and then the demonstration of the whole thing now we look at this inner bracket so have a circle and pad and have a bottom recess at the legs at a base pocket this one here actually when we built the the first one we could have added a hole here as well you can go all the way through doesn't matter because you can't see this it's at the it's behind the, the panel. And then this hole here, and we are done. Next, we look at the outer bracket. So this one, the shape as shown, 
add some legs at a base have a hole this one will hold the push button shaft and then add some supports to keep the inner bracket in place okay and then add the holes pocket four holes and we're done with this build